Hey everybody, it is Dom here back for another TW 2020 video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit longer than normal. We're going to be talking about how to make money in this game. And it's something where I've tried uh, very adamantly throughout the last couple of days. And finally, I've kind of hit like the method that works here for the madness. Um, I was going to hope to have the video out a little bit earlier. However, the build of number three of the game kept on breaking my game. I couldn't even play it at all. Um, so build number four, though, it's working pretty good. Fingers crossed. No crash. Is that all yet? So... Let's get talking to um, some things that you guys can do in particular starting off here that will give you some advice on uh, making some revenue there. Starting off here, we can see that I made about $2,000 last month, which is not that much money, but it's still good for CCW. You know, I'm still making money. I'm not losing money. And if we keep this up, you know, I can still do some cost-effective things, um, such as limiting, like, how many workers are on each show, um, and ultimately maybe even cutting back on TV and just doing events. So starting off here, we can see that one of the biggest costs to have is production values, and that seemingly... It's almost unavoidable. Um, you can avoid it somehow by getting like the lowest minimum, but then people are going to be like, well, this show is doing better, but yeah, that show's burning through money. Um, even though you guys might have, you know, not as good quality, you guys will be the ones making money in the end, essentially, compared to your competitors. So you can see here, I'm making uh, about a $56,000 expenditure on that alone. And that boils down in here to the do 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 if i can find it there's gonna be a production screen there we go and you can see production quality uh music sorry broadcast quality production values live experience uh, the ones in red are basically lower than my competitors um we can see what my uh, broadcaster partners what they want to have for minimum and i pretty much try to keep it on the minimum because you can see it's still spending a lot of money $500 per show, $2,500 per show, $7,500 per show, $1,500 per month plus $500 per show. It is, it's, it's racking up a lot of money, honestly, for production values. Now, another thing that has taken up a lot of my expenditure is the show cost. Now, I do four shows. I do the, the CCW wires, and I do the events also. So in total, five shows a month. Now, we can cut back and just completely get rid of TV, and that might be the best route, honestly. But what I figured out for you guys is really take advantage of the pre-taped shows. By doing that, you'll go from spending, I think of it this way, for the show cost, you would have to have a show cost every time you did a show. If you just did one show but pre-taped four weeks of content, that's only going to be one cost there instead of four separate costs. So if we would have done four different live shows that would have been seven thousand dollars times four and we'd be killing ourselves with money uh being spent now what you guys can do there is you go to events and tv you can modify the tv show and you can tape four shows at a time and essentially that's just chain booking right there you're going to book the first show then the next show then the next show and then the final show and that can seem like a lot guys I'm not gonna lie um it also will take a little bit of hit of, as what i've noticed to like your ratings and like how many people you're pulling in because it is pre-taped so there are some like downsides to it too you know it's pretty much like a juggling knack and balancing of like what you essentially need and as a smaller company as a tiny company with um czw you you need to get in money now what i would highly recommend also if you have the money to spend it Honestly, there's no reason for anyone not to launch their own broadcaster because if I do a tiny internet pay-per-view or commercial, right off the bat, yeah, we're spending $52,000 and we're doing $2,000 per month on our network, but that allows us to have our own network in coverage everywhere across, across that region, you know, and there's a lot of regions in USA in particular. Now, um, what we should also discuss is going into our broadcasting partners we're going to go in here and see that uh, we have some different settings here so for instance uh, we're going to gain 30 percent of the revenue generated from the deal um, with spectrum sports even though it's only in one region but they're also going to take the exclusive rights in that region now that doesn't count for pivot share and twitch though so because this one in particular is a commercial terrestrial um, it's not going to impact the internet ones here now, pretty much uh, you have the terrestrial, which is the biggest one, biggest coverage, every whatnot. 
then you're going to have the one underneath it, which is going to be a uh, cable, and then you're going to have uh, internet. And that's pretty much on like the range of how many people is going to have the outreach there. Um, so we can see from Twitch, from the internet subscription fee, we're getting 50% of the revenue we get there. And the quality is 25 for that one. You can see that it's still the same for 25 on Spectrum, but we're only getting 30% of the revenue, and we have to give them exclusive rights in that region if we do any terrestrial ones also. So that's a big thing to keep in mind there. If you go to sign off and other deals, um, it'll block you and give you that warning there too. But the key thing from 2020, 2016 to 2020 is that you guys will be able to have multiple regions at once because of the different setup for the um, terrestrial cable and internet, you know. Now for pivot share, we're only getting 10% of the revenue and we need to bring in a minimum quality, you know, but we have far more coverage, you know, even across Canada. So those are all things to really keep in mind there. Now, if we go back here, we can see or break down also. Uh, there's also going to be some miscellaneous stuff telling you how much we're getting taxed, um, merchandise, you know, how much money we made off of merchandise. So merchandise is pretty interesting this year. Of course, the wrestlers are going to get their own cut from it, and that's going to be dealt when you deal a contract with them. Uh, but you can see what your current level is. We are small time, making about $1 per fan in attendance, as well as $3 per popularity per region. We can upgrade here. Um, it's going to cost money to upgrade, and it's also going to have a running cost here. Here we can see we don't have a running cost. Uh, well, that's a lie, actually. There is a running cost. It's not telling us that. But if we go into finance, we can see it's $7,500. If we upgrade it, we'll be making more than the $750 because we already do that with this fee right here. So we can see how much we're making off of live events and the mail order. So we're mostly getting all that money in from other regions, not just the live events. You know, from the five shows, we only made about 119 bucks. That's not really good, honestly. But, um, you know, it's all the mail and stuff from all the other regions that we're reaching out to. Of course, there's ticket sales will also be another thing impacting it. Uh, you guys can down, you go down here to ticket prices. You can set it. So, uh, honestly, for CZW, I should probably be doing very cheap to cheap. But I've just kept it normal. Um, and this will also detail how much money you know the tickets will be costing there and this goes down to the size of the region so since mine is probably about like 17 to 23 um, it will tell you about eight to nine dollars there will be um, expected for you know the uh, the cheap very cheap 67 premium would be 14 16 but right now in normal it's 10 to 11. it even tells you you know the higher the ticket the more they're going to be expecting um, if it's cheaper more people will be able to show up though you know, and they won't even uh, expect like that great of a show. So that's just something to keep in mind there. Now, if we bump over here, we're going to go into another save of mine with Impact Wrestling. Let's go demo to Impact, load her up there. And um, this is another one right here, Broadcasters. Uh, you can automatic selection, but you see Tele5, uh, Dish Mexico, Direct TV. These ones we can't select. And it'll say YouTube Mexico is blocking that. Now, if we deselect this, and then we select the ones right here, Dish Mexico and DirecTV, we can finally then click YouTube Mexico, um, because as long as you do the exclusive rights ones last, you can do all the other ones before it. Now, I did have all these um, before, and I essentially got these ones after. So when converting a database, that's something to keep in mind, is that there is going to be like one or two exploits because of previous deals in 2016 databases. But then as you play the game, it'll be like, hey, it'll block it out. So keep that in mind there for some of the bigger companies like WW and Impact. Here you can see with TNT City, we'd have to pretty much pick between the two because they do have exclusive rights for both of them. Ultimately, we'll end up going with Central Europe Medium because it'll have more and we'll save the selection there. Uh, with Impact, we can see that we're going to be making a lot more money at the end from pay-per-view and events. TVs, sadly, aren't making that much money, and neither are house shows, guys. Events are honestly the way to go. But broadcasting is something to really keep in mind because all those pay-per-view buys are really going to start adding up there. So it might be worthy to invest in the internet pay-per-view um, when you launch your own broadcaster. 
ultimately guys that's going to do it here talking about how to make money in tw 2020 i hope this helped you guys out and um of course there have been updates by the way for attendance being bumped up so before it was like you weren't pulling that many people into attendance that's been tweaked and essentially given a bonus there so make it a little bit easier for people to make in money through attendance revenues but with all these methods here hopefully you guys are able to take a company as small as czw and uh grow them you know the size you want and get them uh bigger long term you know other than that, everybody have a safe one and we'll see you all next time peace out